Hello everyone, happy freaking Monday. I'm Tina Marie J and this is my channel which I welcome you to. Today is Affirmation Monday and today we'll be talking about my top 10 tips on how to have a healthy, productive morning to start your day off. Now, at the end of this video, if you liked it, please give me a nice thumbs up, leave a comment, and let me know what you thought of the video. And don't be afraid to press that little subscribe button. Tip number one, avoid social media on your phone early in the morning. I know this is very difficult for most of us because it becomes a habit, especially if you're addicted to your phone like I am. The first couple of minutes of the morning, our mind soaks up everything and tends to stay with us throughout the day. So it's good to just avoid it for at least a good 30 minutes. Tip number two, wake up with gratitude. It's extremely important that when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is give gratitude, give thanks, give thanks to the higher power, give thanks to God, give thanks to the universe, whoever you give thanks to. So by giving gratitude, it helps a lot because when you're giving gratitude, what you're actually doing is you're focusing on the positive rather than focusing on what you don't have, which would be the negative. Whatever it is, big or small, giving gratitude is an excellent way to help get you on the right track towards having positivity in your life. Tip number three, avoid any negative media. And when I say avoid any negative media, I don't just mean social media because we already went over that, but the news. Normally, you would probably want to watch the news just to catch up, to see updates, to know what the weather is, and that's fine. However, we don't realize that the media on TV and on the radio conditions our thinking. And it conditions our thinking in a way where it's not healthy at all, especially if you're someone that's trying to get towards the track of having a positive life and thinking more positively and more freely. Tip number four is one of my ultimate most favorite tips of all that I have ever added to my life. Spend at least 30 minutes to an hour of listening to motivational audios. This is very important. I highly suggest that anyone who is trying to reframe their mindset and shift their thinking starts listening to motivational videos. Tip number five, affirmations. You guys already know, we do our Monday affirmations every week. Doing affirmations is very important to starting your day before you leave your house because what you're doing is you're putting in the positive messages before you get out there where all the negativity lies. So what you do is put in some positive affirmations in your mind. Tell yourself, I'm going to have a positive day. I'm going to have a great day today. I'm going to take on this day. No matter how difficult things get, I'm going to make it through this day. Tip number six. Right inside of a journal, it could be a recovery journal, it could be a manifestation journal, it could be a diary. For you to just purge everything out on paper is very important. What you're doing is you're releasing all that toxic stuff that's inside your heart, inside your soul, inside your mind, and you're putting it down on paper. Or you can do it when you get home in the evenings. I know that sometimes I like to write in the evening if I don't have the time to do it in the morning. Tip number seven, if you have the time, take at least one hour in the morning doing something that you love. Whatever it is, it's very important that we take the time to do something that we love just because we love to do it. You don't need to have a big reward out of it. The reward is feeling inspired, feeling motivated, feeling some sort of peace, fulfillment, and content. Tip number eight, read an inspiring, motivational book that is good for your personal development and enrichment. The book I'm reading right now is called She Means Business by Carrie Green. So I'm not saying that you need to read this book, but honestly, I especially for my ladies out there, I freaking love this book. This book is, I think, the most inspiring personal development book I've ever read, and I love self-help books. Another excellent read is The Magic of Thinking Big. This is another very good book. This book prepares your mind for positivity if you want to go out there and chase after a dream or a goal or if you just want something to help you change your mindset from negative to positive this is one of the books that definitely will help just books that are going to take your mind from I can't to I can or I won't to I will if you can't do this in the morning take time in the evening to read a book. Tip number nine is practice surrounding yourself with positive energy and light. This could be anything. This could be surrounding yourself with positive people, surrounding yourself with positive influences, 
any of the other tips that I mentioned incorporated are actually a way of surrounding yourself with positive energy. We all have this light. Some of us have a negative aura and some of us have a positive aura. You can be an introvert or extrovert, it does not matter. For example, the way that I surround myself with positive energy and light is I make YouTube videos about things that are important to me, something that I love. I write, I journal, I write poetry. I surround myself with things that are gonna make me feel happy. I have on my desk some quotes. I surround myself with these things. It sounds so simple, but it really does change your mindset. The final tip, number 10, is to protect that positive energy and light that you are surrounding yourself with. Protect it with everything you've got because I'm telling you, once you leave the door, there is going to be nothing but bull crap out there trying to interfere and get in your way. It's okay if you have some people that you're around that may not be so positive, but it's not okay to allow their negativity to penetrate your area. This doesn't mean that you're going to walk around happy all the time because even I'm not happy all the time. But as long as you can take your mind back to that positive energy source, that is the most important thing. Now I would like you to close your eyes and to envision what I'm saying. Put yourself in a place of relaxation. Put yourself in a place of calmness, a place of peace. And I just want you to envision yourself surrounded by the silence. Imagine that you can see the silence. Imagine the color of the silence. Imagine the feeling of the silence. And I want you to just embrace it and to just allow the silence to remain with you at peace. As you listen to my words, I want you to picture everything that I say. You are sitting in a bubble, a bubble of peace, a bubble of silence, a bubble of tranquility, and awareness. This bubble protects you from any outside negative influences, any outside negative messages that can penetrate your mind. You are inside of your positive arena and surrounding your arena is light. A ton of light, more than enough light for you to feel the wholeness within. You have so much beauty in you. You have so much positivity in you. You can adapt to all changes that come your way in your life. Others' negativity cannot hurt you, influence you, or persuade you. Others' negative manipulation tactics cannot hurt you, manipulate you, or persuade you. In this arena of positivity, the light that shines attracts positive. Positive attracts positive. You don't allow anyone to come inside and to penetrate and to hurt you and to take advantage of you because your positive energy attracts positive. When negativity tries and interfere and penetrate your arena, your protected shield, which is your bubble, it bounces off. Because you know now, you know how to protect your positivity. You know how to protect that positive energy, that light that pushes everything away. You've been through situations that have caused you to question a lot of things. You've been through hurts and disappointments, pains, betrayal, deceitfulness. You've been through more than enough that you're now well prepared emotionally and mentally to protect yourself from anything outside that tries to intervene. The outside world is not of you, you live in it. You live in the outside world and you fully embrace every opportunity that comes your way that can strengthen and grow you. This is because you can use your pain. You allow yourself to use your pain of your past to push you forward into the future, to find that destiny that was created for you and for you alone. You have everything that it takes to become a better person, to become a better man, 
a better woman, a better father, a better mother, a better wife, a better husband. You have everything it takes to become a better individual for yourself and yourself alone. In this shield, in this bubble, in this arena, it is so well protected that others are bothered when they see they can't penetrate it. Once you were that person that could be hurt, once you were that person that could be put down, that could be manipulated, that could be lied to, now you're that person that can help inspire other people to do what they want to help them grow. You are that person that can live out your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, and can help others to see that they can do the same thing for themselves. Now you're that person that knows what it takes to become the person you were destined to be. Now you know what it takes to become the individual that can fulfill their purpose. We are no higher than anyone else. We are no lower than anyone else. You use this positive energy in your arena and you share it. You don't hoard it for yourself. You share it by loving other people. Loving them for who they are, not for what they have or for what they look like. You share this love for all nationalities, all ethnicities, all cultures, all races, all religions. This is what God wants, is for us to love other people no matter what. And this is something that you know how to do because you've learned how to love. You've learned how to love people and you're learning how to love yourself. You are beautiful. You are unique. You are kind. You are you. You do not need to be fixed. You do not need to be changed. You need to be you. And you need to share you with others around you. You're surrounded with beauty. And I want you to share that beauty with others because this is what's gonna help you to move on to the next level in your life that you need to move on to.